Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play Blades of Avernum. Last episode, we finally, finally managed to get through this fr frustrating previous area in ancient Basikava. Now, we've made it to the catacombs. We need to find a single, tiny metal triangle somewhere in here. And considering how difficult the previous level was, I am not looking forward to this one. You can't read this sign. There's some steep, downwardly declining stairs here. What do you do? I'm not going down there. Let's look through this level. A strange, sibilant voice begins to speak in your mind. These are the ancient graves of Basikava. They are protected by the magic of the Sliffs who once lived here. Do not disturb these graves. If you do, you will risk the vengeance of Basikava. It would be very, very dangerous to proceed. However, at least one of the metal triangles is down here, and you must get the metal triangles to open the gates. The choice is yours. You can feel powerful magical energy emanating from these runes. Do you want to keep walking? Proceed. Oh. Okay. You can't read this sign, but it looks like something dire. Okay, going in there spawns in the spirits. Reloading. Okay, so we're not going to go through there. What about down here? You descend down the stairs into a new level, very deep beneath Basikava. You can hear machinery working all around you, even though no one has lived in these caves or maintained the machines in decades. This place doesn't know that Basikava is dead, though. If it is still functioning, and presumably so are all of its safeguards and defenses. Of course. Maybe we'll be lucky and find a way to get through here and get up into the upper level. The Venati style of the, of the decor is a bit befuddling. Is there some sort of connection between the ancient Posse Cavans and the Venati? The idea doesn't seem to make much sense, because the Venati with whom Avernum is interacted were already resting by the time Posse Cava was founded. Still, the architectural style of this room is identical to that of, a, of the Venati, for whatever it's worth. A number of power sources and beam projectors in this room are broken. It appears that the years since, since ancient Posse Cava was abandoned have not been kind to this area. Some things do not work quite right anymore. The door in front of you, for example, appears to need power in order to open. It is not getting that power right now. Enough equipment is here that you should be able to fix that, though. Pull the lever. There, we got power. I have a feeling... Oh, that spawned... That's interesting. Okay, that's to make sure we don't completely screw up. That's fine, then. The technology here is amazing. These beam devices are Venati inventions that the humans have only recently begun to use. That slips of all people built these devices, and built them well enough to last, is astonishing. Since you have a Slith in, the, in your party, you know that Sliths deal with prejudice on a daily basis, and they almost come to believe the stereotypes. Seeing that Sliths are not necessarily violent and slow-witted must be encouraging to your comrade. One thing is sure, the secrets of Basikava must not remain secrets. If, anyone, if everyone in Avernum knew what Sliths were capable of, people would treat them differently. Pretty sure I know what I'm supposed to do there, but first... Okay, so we got a library here. Not sure where this goes to. As you come close to these runes, you notice the red rune glowing dangerously. It looks extremely unstable, likely to explode and kill someone. You probably shouldn't walk here. I'm gonna save and then see what happens if I do. Right, time to do something horribly stupid? The rune explodes violently, killing one of the members of your party. That was pretty stupid. Yeah, kinda was. But I'm curious what's... Okay, that goes over to here. Which... 
powers a whole bunch of lasers. Interesting. I think it looks like it destroys some things. Alright. Let me reload here. I don't think it would be a bad idea to do that. Alright. So instead of doing that... Pull the lever. Yep, that destroyed something. I'm gonna pull it again. That did quite a bit. Alright, I'm gonna run through again just so I can see what's going on over there. Yes, yes, probably shouldn't walk here, and one of my party members is killed. So now what does it look like in here? Okay, it looks like it just... That did something. Okay, that got out into there. I'm going to reload because stupid things happened. Alright, instead let's uh, pull those two levers. And we'll pull that lever twice and yeah. Alright. There was a bunch of explosions. Okay, I think we're good. That cut through that. Pick the lock. Ugh. Definitely not picking that lock. Can't go in that door. This door is locked and you won't be able to get it open without providing it some power. No idea why that's hanging up in the air. Looks like we need to... As you round this corner, your jaw drops. Seems that every time you think you've learned the extent of the abilities of the Bossy Covens, they surprise you again. In front of you, you can see an elaborate system of machinery that is still completely functional. The machinery sends energy into power sources, which power beam projectors. Those beam projectors fire beams into mirrors, which focus the beams and redirect them into new sources. Those sources then power two more projectors. Those projectors then fire beams into two large crystals, which appears to be the point of all this. The crystals appear to redirect the energy into the ground somehow. If you understand the setup right, this is the source of power for the whole area. If you damage these crystals, you would shut off all the power, including to all of the traps. Of course, the crystals would also explode and bring the entire cave down around you. This area is hot. Very hot. You can't even get close to any of the crystals without burning yourself badly so you don't go any farther. Alright. Well, I think I see what we have to do in the end. Well, now you know why the southernmost power source is not lit. This projector, which would power it, is broken. If you want to get that door open, you'll need to find some other way to fire up that power source. Interesting. Okay, I get it. I get what we're supposed to do, more or less. Okay, so... It, no. So if I turn this on now... What happens? Absolutely nothing over there. Okay, there must be another way through or something. I don't know. There, now we're stuck on this side until we move that out of the way. But, we can get in here. Curiouser and curiouser. In this box, you find two cloaks clearly in the style of the Venati, presumably worn as additional protection for working on the machinery here. It seems undeniable that the Bossy Covens knew Venati at some point in their history. And there's nothing else there. I still can't get... I see what I'm supposed to do. Problem is, I can't get... I can't get out now. But I see what I am supposed to do. Alright. Now. The mirror vanishes and reappears elsewhere. That's interesting. Crap.
on the plus side, I figured out what I'm supposed to do. The trick is getting it done. Crap. Okay, I gotta reload here. Alright, let's try this again. Get the oh wait, now I can wait. All right, now. Oh, damn it! I did it again. How did I get it around? Oh right, because I. Put it a little higher up. That's right, now I remember. Then, I can get this around. Damn it, that's the wrong direction. That did something, and I don't know what. But it wasn't what was supposed to happen. I don't know how that happened. Stop doing that! That's not where I want you to go! No, and now I'm stuck here. Okay, reloading again. Okay, once again. Really? And again, that destroyed something, and I don't know what or why. Either way, that was not supposed to happen. You know what, that's, that's fine. That's actually something I'll take. There we go. And there. That's actually quite irritating that it does that every single freaking time. There. And it shut the door. So now what do we do? Okay. did nothing. That did something. Ish. That just reset everything. They, we only can move one mirror and... Oh, that's what! There's two mirrors over there. Okay, that destroys that. It opens up those mirrors, and we can get into here. There's a control panel here, but you don't know how to work it. You leave it alone, knowing that you are more likely to do something destructive than something useful if you use it. 
probably. Alright. So we got this here. Use that to power that, to destroy those and power that. But I don't think I should do that yet. But I can use that to power that, to power that, to power that, to destroy that, and destroy that, and... Okay, I think I see something of what's supposed to be done. So if I power this... There, that powered something. Okay, this is incredibly annoying! Ugh. And I can't get out now because... <sighs> and we're going to be walking through this entire place with this irritating sound. That resets everything. Everything. <sighs> I gotta reload again. Okay, the good news is I managed to get to what I needed to do, but the bad news is now we just have to deal with the sound. Unless... References, place, play special effects. That didn't work. Okay, now I don't have that sound, but I'm never going to know when anything happens. And that was what was destroyed for some reason. But on the plus side, I now know exactly what I'm supposed to do. There, that's destroyed, and we can get that taken care of. Okay, that's the power switch. Everything is deadly silent now. I know what to do. Hold on. Let me do it from this side. There. Now, if I'm correct... That powered up one of the lasers. Good. So if I turn the sounds on, will we still have the problems? Let's find out. Yes, we will. Okay. can't really get through there without using this other laser. Or this other thing. Ow, that hurt. Okay, now I can get through here. And that powered up... Then I can't get through that door. I can get through that one, though. You have come to a locked door like all the others. It requires a power to open, but unfortunately its power source shatters. 
It appears that there's nothing you can do to open this door. Wonderful. Well, this door can be opened. Ah, this goes into here. From here I can power that to power another one of the doors. And I'm stuck. I literally can't do anything. I guess I'm going to reload again. Okay, I did a poor move and had to reload, and when I did, I accidentally clicked save game, so I had to reload from the beginning again. So I did everything everything all over again. The only thing I didn't redo was activate this pop, this uh, laser so I can see exactly what it would be doing when it comes through here. What all those explosions and the like were. I'm gonna try and figure out this puzzle in the next episode. Hopefully I can. On the plus side, I figured out how to power up this particular, uh, the one I couldn't power up before. So, we have this powered up. This one, I need to get through a door to get in. This one, I need to power up this somehow. And finally we have, well, that fourth one, which is basically going to be readjusting this laser to point up there. It's gonna be tricky, because I need to do it from the right side. Yay. Well, I'll take care of that in the next episode. So, until then, I'm Chester44, that is Fox, Sheik, Bonnie, and Draco. This has been a Blades of Avernum Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.